All right, let's get into a little overview of two of the more popular NVG mounts that I see at a lot of the games I attend. On the left, we've got the Wilcox L4 G24, and on the right, the Rhino. But first, let's check out the Wilcox. And right off the bat, this repro is very well made. The machining has definitely given it some sharp edges, so you got to watch out you don't cut yourself. You might have to file it down. It's got a slot for the dovetail connection, which you can see right there mounted to my monocular. Just snaps right into place, but it does have a little wobble, so you may want to bungee cord it down, add some tension on it. Now, I did find this locking mechanism. It doesn't retract fully, so when you press that button and it goes down, sometimes you really got to wobble the nods to get them out. Now, that's what's going to hold it into the shroud. It does have a breakaway feature, but I doubt I'll ever use that. Basically, you just slide it into the shroud like so, and you're going to lock it into place with that button. You're also going to want to check it and make sure that it is actually locked in. Now those buttons there, they allow you to control the distance the monocular is going to be from your face. You just slide it in and out just like so. Now you can see the grease I added to it because it is a tight fit and uh, yeah, it's going to act like it doesn't want to move so grease her up. So that lever I flipped allows you to move it up and down without affecting the angle. And there's also a button on the side that you press to lower it down for use or up in the air when you're not using it. So when you press that button, there's no tension for it coming down so if you're not holding it, it's going to fly down real fast. Now this little twisty knob, it allows you to fine tune the angle it is in front of your eye. It doesn't look like it's moving it that much, but it does make quite a difference when the monocular is actually on there. It helps you really fine tune it. So now moving on to the Rhino. Now I don't know if this is a repro or not, but it is friggin sturdy though. It's not going to break. Now one of the main differences is that spade connector. It's not the dovetail style, so this J-arm I have, it just kind of clips in like so. This specific J-arm, it's kind of wobbly, it doesn't fit in there snug, so you have to adjust it a bit, but it unclips so much easier than the Wilcox dovetail, that's for sure. Now another difference is there's only one release button on this one and it's spring-loaded, so you have to push the button to get it properly seated in the shroud, and then release the button and it's locked in place. Test it though. Now you use brute force to move the arm up and down, there's no button that locks it into place, but it stays in place quite well. It also has one of these fine tuning knobs that uh, allows you to change the angle it is in front of your eye. And there's only one button on the side you have to press to change the distance it is in front of your face. The Wilcox had two that you had to press at the same time. So since I was showing these earlier, might as well talk about them. Here's the J-arm and this is a Florian custom mount. That's the one with the dovetail that I'd use on the Wilcox. Now both of these will connect to my monocular. They use the same standard screw and you're lining up that wedge with the cutout in your monocular. What it does is it just stabilizes the connection so it's going to be straight and sturdy. You just plop it in, line it up, screw it in, you're good to go. Sometimes you need a wrench. And you flip it over and there's the dovetail. Now with this J-arm it actually has a knob to screw it in so you don't need a wrench. You just line it up, twist the knob, Make sure it's tight and she's all connected. Now one great thing about the J-arm is you just screw this knob to unlock the arm which allows you to flip it from your right eye to your left eye or vice versa. This is great if you're straining out one of your eyes you can easily flip it to the other one. With the Florian you actually have to take this thing all apart which isn't too difficult you're just removing that screw there and uh, flipping the thing to the other side. However its cool feature is you can easily just flip it up out of your face without having to move your whole uh, mounting system up in the air. So in conclusion, back to the mounts here, I'm going to have to go with the Wilcox as my favorite. Uh, they're both good, but it's smaller and I find it's fine tuning a little bit better. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you out in some way. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you on the next one.